What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another legendary item guide for you and this time we're taking a look at what could be the most powerful grenade mod in the game, the Ghast Call. Now before I get too deep into this guide, I want to point out that this item is only available via the Bloody Harvest event and that ends on December 5th. So if you don't already have this grenade, now is the time to go get it and I will explain how in just a moment. The Gas Call is a legendary grenade mod manufactured by Torg, and the red text reads, To you I am past a story to tell, which are the lyrics to a song called Story to Tell by a metal band called Death. It always spawns as corrosive, and it can spawn with a variety of prefixes that will determine just how useful it is. Cloning will split into two when you throw it, Roided will have bonus damage, and Vindicator combines both of those, splitting into two and doing extra damage. So near as I can tell, that should be the version that you hunt for. It can also spawn with no prefix, just being a ghast call. That one is still good, but not nearly as good as the Vindicator version. So the cloning version, when thrown, will split into two skull grenades, and when they impact an enemy or the ground, they split into homing smaller skulls that track enemies and do exceptional damage, whether the target is armored or not. It also generates a substantial pool of corrosion at the feet of enemies, and that applies damage over time to enemies crazy enough to walk into it or it'll actually damage you as well so be aware of that um so in my opinion the best way to utilize this grenade is to treat it like the fastball grenade if you guys have ever played borderlands 2 i'm sure you've used the fastball you just want to throw it right at an enemy try and hit them directly and uh that will do an initial batch of damage it'll also apply that dot via the the corrosion on the ground and then that will be followed by all of the split grenade skulls flying around acting like a merv grenade just attacking everything on the screen it's quite something to see honestly the grenade is capable of massive damage and it's great for mobbing as well as it is for large enemies like badasses and bosses especially if they're armored the only real drawback of this is that it is corrosive only so obviously that limits the effectiveness of it versus non-armored enemies to an extent but it's so strong that it doesn't really even seem to matter that much considering that the malawan takedown raid dropping soon looks to feature several armored enemies i would say that people are going to be wise to track down this grenade right now in preparation for that so how do you get this grenade mod the easiest way is to farm loot ghosts you can spot them by their golden glow and when you kill an enemy that's haunted with a loot ghost inside of them, the ghost will pop out like a golden skull, and you have a short period of time to kill it before it gets away. Now, killing it gives you a chance at a legendary uh, batch of loot, including the new Bloody Harvest specific gear, including the Fearmonger, the Stalker, and the Ghast Call, as well as there's a shield, but the shield's kind of eh, you know. But I made a video detailing the fastest way to find loot ghosts, and that should be accessible as a card up at the top of the screen or as a link at the end of this video. So make sure you guys go check that out for the absolute fastest method. So is this grenade mod worth it? Absolutely, freaking lootly. Honestly, I've been using the hex on almost every single character, but that's changing now. Once I started using this grenade and I saw how much damage it did and how easy it was, it, it it's a lot like um, the magic missile from Borderlands 2. If you guys are familiar with that, you throw it and you don't have to worry about it. Just like it goes and does the work for you. You know what I mean? So if you're a fan of that kind of grenade where you just throw it and you know that it's going to hurt people, then this is the grenade for you, man. Uh, no aim really required, but again, I do recommend hitting an enemy with that initial burst. Yeah, you don't have to though, <laughs> but that's the, that's the thing. If you hit them, then you're going to do more damage. So, you know, do it that way or whatever. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're going to kill everything on the screen with this thing. So if this video was helpful to you guys, again, make sure you check out that video on how to farm uh, this uh, grenade mod as well as the other Bloody Harvest items. Again, it's at the end of this video. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and tap the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.